Right, so this is your year 10 GCC core practical on distillation. So I'm going to set up the apparatus as we've got shown in your diagram. So first of all, we're going to be distilling some ink. So I need to put the ink into the flask ready for our distillation. So we've got our ink ready in there. And into our ink, so we have our ink in here. I'll clamp it up here, then you can see what I'm doing clearly. But into our ink, we're going to put some things called anti-bumping granules. Uh, and anti-bumping granules are basically um, just little chips um, of uh, particles here that are going to provide a surface for the boiling to occur on. And it just helps us have lots of little bubbles rather than whopping great bubbles and gives a kind of more focused but, um, boiling process there, so there's less jumbling around in the whole flask. So we're going to put the bung on the top there, so that's all nicely clamped. So we can see there we've got our thermometer in the top, we've got our ink down here, and then we've got that clamped nice and steady. So we're sitting on a tripod on a gauze, and then our flask has an arm out of the side here leading to our rubber tubing. So if we're going to be heating our ink, we expect the water to evaporate, so it'll turn into steam, and then we want to distill to collect our water. So the steam is going to come out through the tubing there, and then what we're going to do is collect it in a uh, test tube here. We're going to stand our test tube on a container just so that it is at an appropriate height. Let me move this so you can see it. Um, so we put the test tube, uh, the tubing, sorry, into the test tube there. Now, to help our condensation process, it's going to be much more improved if the surrounding area is as cold as possible. So we have some ice that we're going to put in here as well. And I'm also going to add a bit of water. In fact, if I pour the water that we've got that's melted around here, then this helps improve the contact between the cold ice and the test tube so that we get the maximum uh, cooling effect that we possibly can. Okay, so pouring some more water in there so that we get the best contact that we can. So we've got all our setup ready now. Okay, so our flask with our ink, we've got our cooled collecting vessel there. And so we can bring the Bunsen burner underneath. We're going to turn that onto a roaring flame and then we can observe what's happening here. So it'll take a little while here to heat the ink. So we obviously need to increase its temperature uh, it will start evaporating. Remember the process of evaporation is turning to a gas at any temperature. And then once we're getting up to the boiling point, then that is when we have the process of boiling. So turning into a gas at the boiling point there. So we're up to about 50 degrees now. We've done a quick pause in between so that you don't have to wait for too long. And we can see there's lots of condensation forming on the inside of the flask there. So as the liquid is, as the water has been turned into steam, as it rises it's cooler at the top of the flask and so it's condensing and that will just run back down into the solution at the moment. We can start also seeing a little bit of movement actually in the bulk of the solution as well. So the temperature of that will certainly be obviously higher than the temperature at the top there. So we're measuring the temperature at the top of the steam. Okay, now we're reading just above 90 at the top there. So we can see we've got vigorous boiling going on. I'm going to turn the Bunsen burner down a little bit because we don't need it to be going quite so crazy all the time. And if we now go over and have a look over at our tubing here, we can see that there's quite a bit, I don't know if you can see the clouds there, let me see if I can move around. Yes, you can just about see it puffing out there. There's so much uh, steam coming over that actually quite a lot of it's escaping from the tube before it even condenses. You can see it coming up the side here. I need to be careful, obviously, not to burn myself. But the important bit then is to have a look down at what's going on inside our test tube. 
So if I go round to the side here, can you see we have a liquid line here? So that's way below the level of my cooling solution. So this is definitely inside my test tube. And that is where our steam has condensed. So we've got a steam that has come through and condensed there. You can think about what you can observe so that you can be sure that it isn't the ink coming over. And then you can maybe have a think as well about how might we prove that this is water, what kind of things could we do to investigate that. So I'll take you back so you can have one last look at the whole apparatus in action there. So we've got our boiling going on on the right hand side in our conical flask our steam coming right through the rubber tubing and you can see that through the bits that are escaping at the side there if you look carefully and then we've got our water that is collecting down and the level of that is just increasing not surprisingly as we watch.